A charge capacitor is connected to a resistor and a switch as in the figure below. The circuit has a time constant of one second. Soon after the switch is closed, the charge capacitor is at 80% of the initial charge. A. Find the time interval required for the capacitor to reach this charge, and B. If the resistance is 220 kilo ohms, what is the value of C? So what happened here is, um, and I was a little bit confused when I first saw this because I was like, where's the, where's the voltage source? So somehow this plate got charged by a voltage source, and then subsequently it was taken away, uh, and it's connected to this series with a resistor, and it's going to about to be discharged um, as soon as this is closed. So we want to find what is the charge. We want to find how long does it take this uh, to get to 80% of its original charge. So Q is equal to 0.8 Q. And so if we set that up in our equation, so the, the equation where you, you just have a res, uh, resistor and no voltage source, a little bit different. So uh, that equation is Q equals uh, Q times E uh, to the negative T over tau. And what makes this different is I don't have a 1 minus E. And in this case, we're not looking at charging the capacitor, we're looking at discharging the capacitor. And so if I throw in 0.8Q in for my little Q, so I get 0 0.8 big Q equals big Q E negative T over tau. Uh, my Qs, when, when I divide them out, they cancel out, and so I get that, that 0 0.8 is equal to E to the negative T over tau. Now if I just take the natural log of both sides, because E is... Uh, is the base of the natural log. So if I take the natural log of both sides, I get that the natural log of 0 0.8 is equal to negative t over tau. Now the natural log of 0.8 is negative 0.22314, but we don't need to know that yet. What we need to do first is multiply by negative uh, tau. So negative tau times the natural log of 0 0.8 is equal to t. And it tells us our time constant in this problem is one second. So we do negative one times neg times negative zero point two two uh, three one four, and that gives us a positive uh, zero point zero point two two three one four seconds. Now the second part of this wanted to know um, basically if uh, if R is two hundred and twenty kilo ohms, what is the value of C? And so we just set up the equation that tau is equal to R times C, and then you just do C is equal to tau over R. So make sure you, what I would suggest is changing the kilo ohms into ohms, so you get 220,000 ohms. Uh, divide it by 1 over that, and then you can convert that to microfarads by taking it to 10 times the negative 6. And so the answer that I got was um, that I got uh, C is equal to 4.5454, and this goes on and on forever, uh, microfarads. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.